Soil testing is an important part of greenhouse crop production. I've asked Doug Cox from the University of Massachusetts, he's the greenhouse specialist, to talk about taking a soil sample and soil testing for greenhouse crop production. The one to two method is a tried and true method for analyzing greenhouse soilless mixes. It has a lot of data and many years behind it of experience and we know that it works very well. It's best used for occasional sampling. It's maybe a little bit too laborious for trying to monitor on a weekly basis. Uh, it's, it has a number of pieces of equipment and small items that you need in order to do the, to do the test. Some of these you can get at the grocery store, some of them you may have at home already. Uh, for example, here we have some coffee filters, three ounce plastic cups, six ounce plastic cups, a funnel, a pickle jar with the lid, we need to have the lid. Um, distilled water would be best, but if you can get uh, something, uh, water called spring water that doesn't contain any additives or any flavor or coloring or anything like that, that would probably be okay. And then we have a colander here for sifting soil with. Uh, additionally, you will need some pH or EC meters in order to an analyze your, your soil when the, when the test is complete. Some people have an agrimeter already at their greenhouses. Some might have the pH and EC pens here for pH and soluble salts. Uh, if you were going to thought you would do a lot of testing, maybe you would go with a laboratory grade um, meter. A meter like this would cost maybe two to three hundred dollars. Uh, the one to two test is called the one to two test because you mix one part of air dried sieved soil with two equal volumes or two parts of distilled water. Use your pickle jar, you add the water, add the soil, add the last cup of water. Put the jar back on tightly, cover back on tightly. Shake it up so that it's mixed up real good and then you set it aside for half an hour and then you do the filtering process. After the half hour passes we're ready to filter the soil and water mix. First, first step is to take two of the coffee filters and put them together. Fold them together in half like this and then fold them into quarters like this and then you separate it so that you have a little pocket inside so that when you put your mix in there it's not all going to run through. And you put that in the funnel. It doesn't have to be this, it could be some other something else that would catch it. You give it one last swirl. It's not important to get all of the liquid or all of the solids into this, but uh, most of it will come out if you give it a swirl and you just pour it in gently, not, you don't want to overflow it. We're trying to separate the solids from the, from the liquid. And then you wait to see it's filtering through there. When it gets close to the bottom, then you can take your fingers and put it across the hole and you're finished with that aspect of the collecting the liquid. And you pour it into a, the smaller cup. The important thing is here that you have the electrodes on whatever meter that you're using fully immersed in the, in the liquid. You want to stir it around just a little bit so that it's no air bubbles. Your meter should be properly standardized before you do this. And then you wait for a stable reading on the meter. And then you're finished. 
More information on soil sampling, soil testing, analysis and interpretation is available on the UMass Extension Greenhouse Crops and Floriculture website.